Hey, good afternoon to everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's Daryl here. It's not so bright and freaking early anymore. It's 3 p.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I wasn't really planning on making this video, but there's a plethora of commercials that I see on TV as I'm working around the house. I, you know, I work at home because or at my studio because uh, I do I, I do artwork and a lot of times I leave the TV on on the news or mainly on the news and you know I hear the commercials and uh, <laughs> I, I could list uh, about a half dozen commercials that are just that just drive me crazy uh, including the Lumi commercial where the lady talks about her uh, butt crack and her uh, puts her feet in the camera and everything but that, that's not what this video is about um, I'm kind of, I, I, I feel bad making this video. I feel bad about my opinion. I feel like I'm saying something wrong. I feel like I'm saying something unpatriotic, what I'm going to say right now. Uh, but I think it's the truth. And I, I, I have to speak up on what I really think here. All right. I see these commercials. Uh, the ones that, the one I'm going to talk about, like uh, Disabled American Vets is one where uh, they, they have a uh, camper. It looks like a camper, a studio. It's a mobile studio. And this guy asked people going by, would you like to record a message of thanks to a disabled vet? And the people are like, oh, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for keeping me free. And all this other stuff, and uh, then they they come out of the studio, and uh, the disabled vets are there, and the the guy gets down on his knees and, and thanks the disabled vets. And you know, I don't want to make this about the, the vets, the the people that joined the service and uh, the armed forces to, to try to do the right thing. Let, let's start with 2001. What happened on September 11, 2001? Like living here in Connecticut, I still remember that day crystal clear. I was driving to go surfing actually that day on uh, 84, Route 84 here in Connecticut. And I was listening to the radio as the World Trade Center was hit and then the second the second building was hit and uh they were actually talking about shutting down the highways here in Connecticut on that day because we were so close to New York City. They were shutting down, uh, taking all the planes out, out of the air. There was no, if for some of you younger people, you probably don't know what that day was like. Uh, they shut down the, there was no planes in the air over the whole United States for, uh, I think it was for a couple of days at least. Uh, that day, they were talking about shutting down the highway, and I was on my way to Rhode Island. So, I mean, I, I started tearing up in the car. I, I mean, I, I literally cried that day. Uh, all I could picture in my mind was I, I pictured just thousands of people, uh, innocent people being killed. And uh, it affected me and affected a lot of people around this whole country, but especially people around here that live live in that area. Okay, and I can understand why Americans would would instantly go out. I, I, I was 34 or 35. I was just a little, I was, it didn't, you know, I was too, getting too old to, to, there was no thought, I had no thoughts of going, running and joining the army to go fight the Osama bin Laden. But some people did. And I, I'm not, I'm not busting on them. I'm not ranking on them. I, I could understand why they would do this, but it, it's this rhetoric that we hear now, like from what, what I'm talking about here is the Wounded Warrior Project. With Trace Atkins. That's what I want to talk about today. Some of the stuff they say in this commercial is just, uh, there's a couple of things that just really bother me. It's just patriotic rhetoric. It, it's, it's not even true. Uh, one of one of these, one of these vets say that, uh, it's, it's really great that the role that we played in capturing Osama and Bin Laden let, let, let me go over this. Now, we right after we went into Afghanistan, I believe it was on uh, October 7th, a few days, uh, a couple weeks later, 2001, we, we, an international coalition invaded Afghanistan. And then about a, two years later, on March 20th, 2002, we went into Iraq, which was just insane. Uh, this whole thing about weapons of mass destruction, which was total bull. I, we still, I still remember these... Uh, uh, Colin Powell and his his board about you know he was pointing out and he was trying to sell this to to America and America bought it that we had to go not only do we have to invade Iraq but we now had to go invade uh, I'm sorry invade Afghanistan but we now had to go invade Iraq okay so this guy this David disabled vet is saying you know his role in 
capturing Osama bin Laden. Now, Osama bin Laden was captured on, uh, what day was it? Uh, 2000, I think it was in 2011. Um, when, you know, years later. So I have to wonder what this guy's talking about. You know, unless he was with SEAL Team 6 in 2011, I, you know, and it's unlikely. That he, so what, what is, what's he talking about, his role? If he was in Afghanistan kicking down doors of different families or in Iraq kicking down doors, you know, how, how did his role, how, how, did he, how did he play a role in capturing Osama bin Laden? The thing that really bothers me here is, is Trace Atkins says this. He says, uh, you know, please give, you know, they're constantly asking for money for the disabled vets. And like I said, I'm not trying to rank on the disabled vets, but everything they're saying in this about how, you know, going to Iraq and, and Afghanistan, that, that, was, that was protecting our freedom here. That, that's nonsense. That, that's total nonsense. That, that wasn't protecting our freedom. But the thing that really bothers me is what Trace Atkins says. He says, uh, the, the reason we did this or the, the result of this was ensuring that there would never be another day like 9-11. You know, and I thought about that. And, there, you know, thank God there hasn't been another day like 9-11. You know, but l l let's look at that realistically. Going into Afghanistan, going into Iraq, kicking down doors, invading, invading, the, invading entire countries like Iraq. Uh, the young, young boys, the young kids that saw their, their parents thrown around, kicked around and, you know, the, kicking down doors. You know, if, if anything, in my opinion... I think it made it more likely. I, like I said, you know, thank God there hasn't been another 9-11. But I'm, I'm rather surprised that there hasn't been. Because by going and invading Iraq and Afghanistan, and like I said, you know, Osama bin Laden wasn't even found in Afghanistan. He was found in Pakistan. He was living in Pakistan. You know, so we, were in, we weren't even in the right country. You know, and, and how does that protect us? How does that keep us? How did that keep us free? How did that protect us? Really, what it did was was piss off uh, tens of thousands of Iraqis. It pissed off tens of thousands of, of, of Afghanis that saw Americans come into their countries, kick down their doors, uh, throw around, pillage, and and whatnot. I'm not not all soldiers, but you know, it certainly didn't. I certainly don't see this making the country any safer. It's just these commercials for disabled American vets and wounded warriors with Trace Atkins. It just seems like a bunch of not a bunch of lies, really. This you know selling this whole those two wars like it was a good they were they were good things that protected us and we were doing it for our freedom. We weren't doing it for our freedom. We were doing it for oil. Uh, more than anything, we were, it was for oil. That's all. That's you know, Iraq. That's all that was for. You know, did it keep us? Did it make us any safer? You know, thank God there hasn't been any other. There hasn't been anything similar. But I, I can't see that it made us safer in any way, shape, or form. It, it ostracized America. It made, I think it made uh, the Arabic people, the Muslim people, despise and, and not trust Americans, especially the way we left a lot of the interpreters behind. You know, come help us, come help us interpret, and we'll we'll bring you and your families into America. And then we left uh, we left a lot of them there, and we we didn't keep our promises. How this all you know? And then we like I said, I just see these commercials day after day, you know, selling this nonsense. Like I said, this isn't. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying this about the vets. The vets went into this believing in America, and believing in their country. Unfortunately, and I, I think their country. I think. I think America used them for oil and you know attacking Iraq for what? Attacking Afghanistan when Osama bin Laden wasn't even in the country for probably most of the time anyway. And did it make America safer? Yeah, not in my opinion. I think it just it made uh, it made a whole lot of people hate America a whole lot more and not trust us. That's just my opinion. What I think when I see these 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 commercials, I think they're they're full of it. I think it's a bunch of lies perpetrated by America, the America American military. Let me know what you think. I'll be back later with another video. Have a good Wednesday.